Okay, this video I will quickly demonstrate two ways to put footnotes from Chicago style of citations into Microsoft Word 2007. So to start here, I have my sentence typed there. Let's get rid of that. So this is how you make footnotes in Word 2007. So first, quick easy way, quick shortcut. Control, Alt, F. It'll take me right to the footnotes there. So now, I just need to use the citation that I want. So let's pretend I want to use this one right here, Virginia Soil. Go create bibliography from item. So some people may not know, but from here you can create footnote style of citations. So here in the output mode, you might have bibliography but instead you want that to be notes. And make sure that is in whatever Chicago manual style that you need, either author date, full note, or note. For me, I need full note, and that is most likely what you will need. And, and I'm, I'm going, going to make, make it copy time. to clipboard. The other options are good, and you could use those if you wanted, but copy to clipboard is a little bit easier when you're only using one source that you would like to cite. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to copy everything for me. I will make this full screen. Go back down here to the footnote I implanted and I will click paste. And there it is right there. But there is two problems. So first, it has the page number at the back. That's because I had that in my Zotero. So I'm going to back that up. And then as you can see, this isn't right. You have the one here in front of the footnote that I want. So I'm going to get rid of that, but as you see, still not cracked. So come up to the little margins right here, the indent, and you want to bring that all the way to wherever you want to start. I'm just going to use the default margins that I have here, and that should fix that. And so there's one other way that you could use, and this way will expose a problem with the last way I just taught you. So this is the other method. So the next method, still do the control, alt, f, and you're going to get that there. You see that space right here that we have? Well, we're going to get rid of that once I post this here. So now you can go up to your ribbon, find Zotero, should be the last one in there. If it's not in there, there's a way to edit in there. You could probably find that online. And then click add edit citation. And then this little search bar is going to show up here. So I'm going to use the same one just because it's easy. So let's type in Alfred. There it is right there, Virginia Soil. Then click Enter. It will load in right there. And the default settings that I have for that are incorrect. And I want it to be, of course, 12 and times New Roman. Does it need to be that? That's just what I'm required to do. So the space that we have here, if you try to backspace it, you won't get all of it and there's a way to get rid of it so highlight it all and I would say this for the end of your paper if you're doing it the first method I taught you so that way you can save some time click the paragraphs here and you'll have before and after you want those zero point click OK should be fixed so the one last issue I have with the last method I taught you is if I want to get rid of that 50 there if I click backspace it's gonna highlight the whole source so if I click backspace again it's all gone so if you did want to get rid of that page or something at the back or something in the middle just make sure you don't hit backspace Oops, that's not what I wanted. make sure you don't hit backspace and backspace again what you'd want to do is you'd want to use the arrow keys or I believe you can click to find what you want to get rid of. So let's say I don't want that to say uh, epidemics. Get rid of that and you're good. So I hope that helped.